now look at what's making news across the globe. In international news, an out-of-control wildfire on uh, Gran Canaria in Spain's Canary Islands kept spreading on Monday as well. The blaze, the third in 10 days in the mountainous centre of the island, has forced the evacuation of several villagers with a combined population of over 9,000. Provided the conditions of the island, such as high temperatures, strong winds and low humidity, is fueling the wildfire. Altogether, 1,000 firefighters and other crew and 14 water-dropping helicopters and planes were working on controlling the blaze, which is estimated to have destroyed 10,000 hectares of forests so far. Another wildfire broke out in the Spanish town of Estepona on Monday with 170 firefighters called to the site to tackle the flames. Numerous helicopters were also deployed to the site to deal with the fire, which is not the first such occurrence in Estepona. This year has been particularly notorious for wildfires in Spain. Airstrikes conducted by the Syrian government targeted a Turkish military convoy, killing three civilians and wounding nearly 12 people in northwest Syria. The airstrikes hit the convoy when it was approaching towards Idlib, a province in Syria considered the most rebellious district. Turkey has its forces stationed in Idlib under deals with Russia and backs some of the rebel factions in the region. Seen to be moving forward on the Brexit negotiations, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson wrote to European Council President Donald Tusk to propose conditions on negotiating a new Brexit deal. The new deal proposed seeks removal of the Irish backstop and to find a flexible and creative border agreement to solve the potential problems regarding the Northern Ireland border. The critics believe that this arrangement could trap Northern Ireland inside the EU and cause the split of Britain. The British Prime Minister vowed to bring Britain out of the EU by the 31st of October this year. Coming as a relief for the Chinese multinational tech company Huawei, the US Department of Commerce announced that it will extend a temporary license loosening restrictions on business deals for another 90 days. The extended temporary general license allows a specific limited engagement in transactions to Huawei and its non-US affiliates. The temporary easing came amid concerns that Huawei's customers in the US will suffer without access to its services. A Guatemalan court acquitted the son and brother of outgoing President Jimmy Morales in a corruption case. Samuel Morales, the president's older brother and his political advisor, had been on trial on suspicion of fraud and money laundering, while Jose Manuel Morales, the president's eldest son, was facing fraud charges. In January 2017, the Attorney General's office accused both men of defrauding the land registry of $12,000 using false invoices for the fraud conducted in 